Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo. Welcome to Daily Discipline number 649, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here, honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, it's Monday. So on Mondays, we talk about Mamba Mondays, which is, you know, that, that you just got to grind, right? You just have to grind through it. Sometimes you just got to focus on the work, and then the results will take care of themselves. Yeah. In between there, you might want to pray, have some faith. Seriously. Um, but nonetheless, it's also July 27th, 2020, which means that it's it's uh, Max's birthday. Happy birthday, Max. I'm so happy for you. I hope you have a great day today. Uh, but it's a work day. I got work to do, so let's do it. First things first, still a realist. I'm also focused, right? I'm focused on the task at hand. I've got some things. I've got a busy week today. Busy week this week. I've got a busy day today. Uh, a lot that I need to get done. And uh, it's going to require some focus for me to get all of that done and maintain my other responsibilities. So moving on to our real talk is that to remember, right? This is a remember one, to focus on your primary objectives, right? It's easy to play soccer ball, right? Like wherever the, the screaming is the loudest. Like you ever watch a little kid's soccer game, they kick the ball and everybody runs over there. They get over there and then somebody kicks the ball over there and everybody runs over there. We gotta maintain our discipline and we have to focus on our primary objectives. The things that don't matter, like I, I can't engage in that, right? The things that don't get me where I need to go can't get engaged in that. I need to focus on my primary objectives. So you notice that I got focus on here twice. Um, there's just pressure. I got pressure at work, which is fine. Um, but I need to leave that at work. And the rest of the time, I need to be present for my family because those are my primary objectives. Moving on to our thank yous, and then we'll be done for the day. Number one, God is good. God's been good to us in the good times and the bad. There's no denying that. Um, I'm thankful that, uh, for Spirit Church. Went to church yesterday with Addy. Um, it's where I needed to be. Heard some messages that I needed to hear, right? Uh, speaking of Addie, I'm thankful for her, right? Just um, she is so loving and so kind. Um, there are times like she, to me, I look at her, I'm like, man, that her name isn't Grace, right? But she is Grace personified, you know, just to all of us, right? She treats all of us better than we've recently treated her, right? I mean, very rarely is Addison like the instigator where she's you now she'll. Yeah, anyway, I don't want to go on and on. I'm just thankful for her. I'm thankful for all three of my kids, Sam, Addie, and Jack. You know, coming up, they, they go home here in a couple hours. And just thinking about how I, there were different points over the weekend when I had one-on-one -on -one time with each one and just really strengthen that connection. I just love it, right? Um, and I love the little man that Jack's becoming. He's so much fun. Thankful for Max Cypher, right? Happy birthday, buddy, right? Like we said earlier, it's your 13th birthday. I was just thinking about, you know, where we were 13 years ago, right? And the scare that you gave us, you know, in the very beginning, was it your fault, right? Um, very much like Jack, right? And that, you know, that all a lot of the drama, a lot of the work was in the very, very beginning, but that you've become this, you know, smart, handsome, you know, it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch, right? Um, and what an example. I'm thankful for uh, that I was asked to be a coach of Sam's football team. It's a huge responsibility, right? And I didn't even forget about that until you start going through these coaches' trainings. You're like, wow, that, there's a lot here, right? And um, it's a labor of love, right? But it's necessary. And like we talked about before, you know, you see these videos, you know, of, of, of people who become very accomplished in athletics or even in life, and they point back to somebody that um, was a coach, right? Way back in the day, it's almost you, if, when you believe you can do it, you can do it. And we've all had people like that in our life. So um, I'm up for the challenge, and I accept it. Um, you know, yesterday, we talked about how it was the anniversary of Precious' son died. And, you know, he, we, we got to chat yesterday via um, a, a web call. And it's, it's always good to chat with him. But, um, you know, he's obviously very moved by the fact that I remember. Well, I remember because I keep a, a reminder right up there, right? And it's also the day before Max's birthday, which is easy for me to remember as well. Um, I'll never understand that pain. I don't want to know, right? And um, yeah, just I'm, I'm thankful for the lustres. I'm thankful that I have people like that in my family, that are in my network, in my family that I get to talk to often, that are just the voice of reason sometimes, right? Um, I'm thankful for Aunt Jen. Aunt Jen is moving to town here next weekend. Not in my town, but in the in the area. That's going to be awesome. So very thankful for that. I'm thankful for today. I'm thankful for tomorrow. Whatever is next, I'm thankful for it all. With that, we're done. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on a Mamba Monday. We'll be back tomorrow on a terrific Tuesday. We'll see you then.
Hashtag real talk. Deuces. Love you guys. See you. Bye.